Welcome to HRT Performance Engineering. My name is Jason Hoffman, and today I have a story of solving a problem. While attending a tractor show, Labor Day 2023, a good friend of mine approached me with a problem that he was having. Some parts for antique tractors are just very hard to come by due to low production numbers in many decades since they were produced. In this instance here, this is a crank handle to start a Waterloo Boy tractor engine. The Waterloo Boy tractor engine handles are somewhat easier to find than the problem that we were having. The problem is the Type T portable engines uh, re rotate in the opposite direction. So the crank handles are essentially mirrored. In order to solve the problem of a missing crank handle, uh, we decided that we were going to cast new crank handles for the Type T portable engine. In order to do that, we have to come up with a pattern. Uh, so what I started with was uh, several uh, pictures uh, shown here of uh, a tractor engine crank handle, uh, taking pictures and getting measurements on graph paper after several renditions and, and many, many pages of notes and comments. Uh, I turned that into a model and a CAD modeling software uh, that we were then able to print out. Uh, and compare to the real life uh, crank handle uh, with the exception of the uh, starting lugs being reversed. I uh, went through a couple of renditions of changing the crank handle uh, in my CAD model to match the real life crank handle from the Waterloo Boy tractor engine. Uh, once I was happy with the uh, output of the CAD model, uh, as far as the graphics goes on the screen and printed out on the paper full scale, uh, I then proceeded to 3D print the crank handle in two halves. Once the 3D prints have cre been created, we are back to comparing those to the models and then doing real world fitment tests on an actual Waterloo Boy Type T portable engine. Uh, this one here was sold on an auction here recently uh, and I went to the auction and test fit it onto the engine. Now that I have it test fit onto the engine, uh, there'll be a few more tweaks and changes to actually convert uh, what I have here into an actual foundry uh, pattern and mold that can be cast uh, in iron using a sand casting process. Uh, if this type of project uh, interests you, uh, if you don't mind, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and I will keep giving updates. Thank you very much.